Traumatic Brain Injury, A Brief Introduction The Center for Disease Control defines a traumatic brain injury as a disruption in the normal function of the brain that can be caused by a bump, blow, or jolt to the head, or penetrating head injury. The injury may be open or closed head. Adults as well as children are at risk for traumatic brain injury and may present with one. Causes of traumatic brain injury include falls, motor vehicle accidents, being struck by an object, assault, suicide attempt, and other accidents. Symptoms may appear right away or even days or months after the trauma. Individuals who have been injured may not even be aware of their symptoms. Physical symptoms include being tired or lacking energy, sensitivity to light, balance problems, headaches, dizziness, or blurred vision. Nausea or vomiting may occur early after the injury. Some people may sleep more than usual and some may sleep less. Some have trouble falling asleep. A person with TBI may have difficulty thinking or concentrating. They may experience short-term memory problems and attention problems. Reasoning and judgment may also be affected. Emotions may be impacted. Individuals may experience sadness, depression, irritability, nervousness, or anxiety. They may be more emotional and they may have mood swings. Persons with TBI may be perceived as having a different personality since their accident. For example, they may become more or less outgoing, or their interests may be different. TBI can result in a person having less effective social skills and may cause a person to become more easily frustrated and or more impulsive. Self-awareness may be impaired. Some individuals may become physically aggressive. When interacting with someone with a traumatic brain injury, try to minimize stress as it can impact the person's behavior. Consider moving to a quiet place. Speak slowly and carefully and give the person time to process the information. Offer to repeat or rephrase if you think you have not been understood. Be tolerant if a person repeats him or herself and avoid interrupting him or her. Provide important information in written format. Overall, be patient and provide support and understanding. Treat each person as an individual and ask the person if you can help. This video is sponsored by the Texas Center for Disability Studies at the University of Texas at Austin and the Center on Disability and Development at Texas A&M University.